Hi, this is Jeff with Photoblossom. In this video, I just want to go over how to install the custom shapes and the patterns into Photoshop and also Photoshop Elements. Um, it, there's two different ways to do it, but uh, I'll show you the fastest way that I know how. Um, it, and that is, once you download the files, the custom shape of um, zip, fo zip folder, zip file, sorry, I'm like still sick. Um, once you download the zip files to your hard drive, you'll want to go uh, lo go locate the custom shapes um, folder after you unzip it and you'll find the .csh file all you do is double click on that and it should load um, load those directly into Photoshop if Photoshop's not open it will like launch Photoshop and then there'll be um, uh, the custom shapes will be located under the custom uh, shape tool under cut under yeah under the cus under the shape tool under the custom shape tool and then you'll be able to access them uh, from this drop down box right here. If you ha if you already have custom shapes installed here, um, they will probably be appended to the end of them, so you might have to like scroll down. Um, if you don't see them here, one way to load them is uh, by clicking this little tiny uh, drop down box or flyout menu and then clicking on load shapes and then scrolling or uh, going back to that folder that you downloaded and then double clicking and opening that and loading it and that will append those I think it asks you to append them and it will you know you can replace the whole box like I've done here or you can append them and um, it's easier to work with if you just uh, use one at a time but um, and then you, you know of course you can use these however you want You can take a uh, see. I have an example here you could, that I put in a, a snowflake instead of uh, the Christmas tree, or if it's you know Valentine's Day hearts or uh, um, you know etc. So that's the the custom shapes, the patterns. They're a little bit, little bit more tricky, but uh, it's it's really simple. Any shape, any custom shape that you have on your in your um, in your file, just right click and go to blending options on that some on the Christmas tree um, layer, and then going to pattern overlay, and then because you won't see them here, all you do is click on this uh, little icon here, and then load the new patterns, and you know again go to where you downloaded them and then load those in and you'll, you'll see them here and then you know you can change those however you want um, there are 40, 40 different shapes or uh, <laughs> sorry 40, 40 different um, custom patterns I believe, if I got that right. Um, so yeah, and then that's how you do that for Photoshop. In in, fo in in Elements, it's a little bit different. So here I have Elements open um, with from the Photoshop Elements version of um, the, the template bundle. And uh, it's a little bit different because you can't you can't load any of those custom shapes f working within Photoshop Elements. You have to actually go to um, your presets folder and how you do that is by clicking on uh, your uh, computer uh, fi folder and then clicking on C and then clicking on users uh, your username and then clicking on app data and then clicking on roaming adobe and then under adobe you'll see photoshop elements and then click on the that folder whatever version that is that you're using and then presets and then drop it into the custom shapes folder here like I've already done and then they will now show up 
uh, when you click on the custom shape tool in Photoshop elements like that and then you can use those however you want so I hope that was helpful if you do have any questions um, don't, uh, don't hesitate to email me um, and I'll try to answer you as fast as I can but again I am sick uh, the holidays just uh, took its toll so um, anyway I hope you enjoyed that and uh, yeah <laughs> Bye.